what up guys so in this video I want to quickly uh, do like a quick tutorial how to set up your business policies on eBay how I set my business policies and why do I set it in this way so please uh, before we start if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up uh, button as well if you like this video a uh, big announcement Today is the 11th of March and to, uh, tomorrow will be the 12th of March. It will be Tuesday. And this week I will be having Sully from uh, Success with Sully uh, that will explain us more about manual dropshipping. This is, I think this is the way dropshipping on eBay is going to. So I really, really highly recommend you to uh, come into that, to this live. And, and I have a free Telegram group that I provide full-time support and I answer your questions and really great community. So please uh, come in and join to the group. So uh, let's, uh, let's start. And uh, let me show my screen quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So basically what you do okay it's super simple you go ahead to ebay uh, to ebay uk you go ahead to ebay uk you click here on help and contact okay you you write you type down business sorry it is 6 a.m here in mexico so still can't type like a person so you 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 put in the, in the search you put business policies and you have here opt-in okay you click opt in basically with what will ask you to uh, register and then you will just opt in and you will get to this page okay this is your business policies this is for uh, of one one of my accounts I already have everything here and so I have a bunch of different business policies for different different suppliers so uh, if you just starting off and you do use Amazon If you use Amazon, so uh, I will show you how to set up your business policies correctly, okay? Because even though you're only starting off, you can have, if you uh, do create your business policies, as I will show you, you will have your fast and free badge, okay? And uh, it, it, it helps to boost you in the, the, uh, the search results. And also, it also, um, you have a higher chance to sell the item. So basically what you do, you will get to this page. You will not have any business policies yet because you just created. So you want to create business policies. So let's go one by one. I will do that as short as possible. So policy name, you just can put like a default like I do. And you choose PayPal, of course. You put here your uh, email your PayPal email, make sure that uh, double check that, that it is correctly, okay? Because you want to receive payments here. And you click on, so let's put like test gmail.com. You click here, require immediate payment when buyer uses, buy it now. So if you don't check this box, if someone will purchase something from you, he, like he can pay later okay but we don't we want immediate payment so we, uh, we always will check this box <coughs> and basically you click save that's it you have your business your payment business policy uh, I will not save it of course so now let's go to the second one returns okay Ret returns is something that's subjective to to you uh, for Amazon, of course, I use 30 days uh, worth of returns and the buyer pays for, uh, for the shipping label for the return. So I will put here like uh, 30 days buyer pays. Okay, 30 days buyer pays the return just for me to know what is the policy. Okay, because when I will have like more policies, I will test more suppliers. I want to know uh, what is the policy. So. 30 days buyer pays so uh, here you choose like 30 days and you leave it as it is and you have here international returns okay when you will uh, use like GSP or just sell internationally if you want and it is actually good to, to sell international because 
uh, if you selling in the UK, you have all Europe around you and they want to purchase from the United Kingdom. Um, I, I do like accept returns from uh, international sellers because I don't have that a lot and it's not that, uh, that of a problem, but it's not necessary. You can also like uh, don't accept international. Uh, if you are just starting off, I suggest you do, like, do not accept international uh, returns. And yeah, that's it. Just click save and that's it. So this is your return policy. policy. Let's go to the, uh, the most important one, okay, the postage. And this is the last one, okay. This is the three that, the three that you need to have. So I'm talking about right now about Amazon, okay. Amazon ships, uh, it has like one day delivery in the UK. Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm giving myself one day of handling time, okay? So what I will do, I'm, I'm giving myself one handling time and, and I'm using the option of 48 hours courier, okay, delivery. So it will be between, <coughs> it will be between uh, two to three days, okay? And so I will put here, or, or just I can put Amazon, uh, I, I write Amazon Prime, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Okay, so I will know that I'm drop shipping from Prime items. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, here we choose. So basically, what you want to choose, you need to have up to two days of shipping and one handling time. Okay, if you uh, uh, you you get more than that, so then you will not have the fast and free badge. And I want to have the fast and free badge. So, uh, so what I want to choose is standard service. Okay, you want to choose other 48 uh, hours career, one to two working days, and of course free uh, free delivery and uh, dispatch time, uh, one working day. This is my my settings. It's work very well for, for me. I don't have like late shipments or things like that or some complaints about it. There, there are specific items that you cannot have one day shipping and only like a priority shipping that it, it is a bit more, uh, it takes more uh, days to deliver the item. So I have like a, a different policy for those items. There are really, really small amount from the items that I have that uh, does not deliver in one day delivery. So you can just create another one and that just choose a different uh, policy for maybe three to five days. And so uh, sell globally for, so if you're just starting off, you will not have this option, the uh, global shipping program, you need to, uh, to add it. I, I don't know if you like, if you're just starting off, if you can have a global shipping program, I don't really remember, but I have it. But if you're just starting off, you don't need to focus on that. Focus on like the UK customers. And now, okay, the last thing that people, uh, some, some, of, some of you forget to do that, and this is the most important thing, create exclusion lists, okay? This is the most important thing. Uh, so you want uh, here to uh, check off the these boxes of like uh, Channel Islands, Northern Ireland, and all those stuff because some of the suppliers, uh, if you use Amazon, I think they do ship you to those uh, to those places. I I check those boxes uh, just to you know to to make sure that I will not have any problem if someone purchased from me from those uh, places. And PO box, okay, PO box. This is my setups uh, that I use for my shipping, okay, it is the same, the same thing, okay, I check all the boxes up here, okay, and the PO box, that's it, this is my setup, and you will click save, and basically that's it, you all set up, if you are using AutoDS or DSM2, after you do that, okay, after you do that, you can go to the settings, okay, in DSM2, you need to go to the settings, and in the settings, you will have uh, business policies like you need to refresh it so it will show up the business policies that you set up. And after that, you can make it like a default uh, def default uh, policies and it will show up in every list that you make uh, automatically. And the same thing uh, for AutoDS. 
you don't need to i think you need i, I don't really remember if you need to refresh it or not um but it is super easy okay this is you need to create those business policies uh, from that you can use that uh, very sim it's very simple and create yourself as much business policies as you want for different suppliers i don't know so uh, thank you for watching guys uh, this video please subscribe to my channel i really trying to get to 1000 subscribers i will appreciate uh, you subscribing and don't forget tomorrow i'm having sally on my channel so please stay tuned and come in and ask your questions okay because like i only can ask for what i'm interested in but you know you have your questions so you want to make sure that you ask your question this is your time this is i'm doing that basically for you okay so don't forget uh, 8 p.m. UK time tomorrow at uh, 12th of, of March uh, on Tuesday. Uh, I really want to, to see you guys. Uh, that's it. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.